chapter 9 the verb tenses indefinite simple tense present indefinite tense simple present tense tells us about the action that happens in the present time example he plays cricket anu enjoys dancing simple present tense is used in the following situations to express actions done respectively or as a matter of habit example i go to library every day she never tells a lie to express some scientific or universal truth example the sun rises in the east water boils at 100 degrees celsius to express some future event that is pre-planned example our school reopens on 1st april the prime minister returns to delhi tomorrow past indefinite tense simple past tense tells us about the actions happen in the past example the children made a basket the teacher arrived early in the class simple past tense is used in the following situations to express actions finished at some points of time in the past example i brought toys for my friends mummy baked a cake for the party to express some past habit example i never studied at night before exams my uncle usually walked down to the office future indefinite tense simple future tense tells us about an action that is yet to happen we use shall will with the main verb to speak about the future tense example i shall fly a kite tomorrow she will come home next week will is used with all persons nouns and pronouns but shall is used only with first person i and we will is used to express an instant decision or a possibility it tells about things in the future which he cannot control continuous tense present continuous tense present continuous progressive is used to talk about actions in progress actions which are not yet complete this tense is used to refer to an action that has begun but not ended at the time of speaking we use is am are plus verb plus ing example is am are plus present participle we use present continuous tense to describe an action that is going on at the time of speaking example i am writing a letter to my brother mummy is watching the television to describe an action that is in progress but not going on at the time of speaking example these days i am learning to swim which class you are studying in to express an action that is expected to take place in the near future example the principal is coming for inspection on monday we are buying a refrigerator this diwali past continuous tense past continuous tense is used to talk about something which was in progress going on at some point of time in the past we use was were plus verb plus ing example was were plus present participle form of verb this tense is also used to describe two or more actions 
going on at the same time. Example, I was sleeping while my brother was studying. To express a continuing action at some point in past when another event took place. Example, we were playing outside when the bell rang. Future continuous tense. Future continuous tense is used to refer to the events, actions that will be happening at some point of time in future. When we speak about an incomplete action in the future, we call it future continuous tense. We use shall, will, plus be, plus verb, plus ing to express action in this tense. Example, the teacher will be reading the lesson. We will be learning multiplication tables tomorrow. Perfect tense. Present perfect tense. Present perfect tense shows a relation between the past and the present. It is expressed using has have plus the past participle form of the verb. The present perfect tense is used to express an action that has been recently completed. Example, he has finished the painting. They have arrived home from the meeting. To refer to an action that started in the past but finishes in the present. In other words, the present perfect connects the past with the present. Sometimes it connects the past with the present through the result of an action in the past. Example, I have completed the job. There is no more to do now. She left the school recently. To express an action which has been continuous from the past up to the present moment. Example, I have lived in this house for five years. I am still living in it. Note, both the simple past and the present perfect tense express an action completed in the past. But the difference is the simple past tense expresses a completed action not connect with the present. Whereas the present perfect tense expresses a completed action connect with the present. Example I ate my breakfast. No link with the present. I have eaten my breakfast, so I do not want to have any more now. This action is linked with the present. Past perfect tense. Past perfect tense denotes an action completed at some point of time in the past before another action begins. We use had plus past participle form of the verb. Example, I had finished my homework before mummy arrived. I had finished my homework, first action completed, before mummy arrived. Second action took place after the first one finished. The movie had already started before we reached the theater. Papa had given the present before I cut the cake. Note, the action that happened first is expressed in the past perfect form and the action that occurs later is expressed in the simple past. Future perfect tense. Future perfect tense is used to express an action completed before a given time in the future is formed by will shall plus have plus the past participle form of the verb. Example, Raghu will have learnt to drive by next month. Neha will have written the story by 2 o'clock.